And we're back to learning Photoshop in year day 72. Let me show you how you can create a transparent gradients. Use the gradient tool here. G is the short key. Just right click on this box if you see the paint bucket tool. I use the basic, the first one right here, black to white. Then I left click drag. And if I now recolor the background, which was white. Let me, for example, make that red. This is not shown at all as our gradient was black to white and then painted over it. Let me delete this. We use the gradient to again. Black to white is selected. I left click drag. You can see how that paints over it. But it's still active and I can use the second option right here. It is now black to transparent. Transparency is indicated by this checkerboard design. And now we can see the red below. You can also pick that right here in the presets via the properties menu. Don't get confused if this slider doesn't work. Because this slider is for the color transition. And we don't really have a color anymore. So what we're looking for is the transparency transition. And this cannot be found there. And we scroll down, right here we have our colors. The right stop is actually black too, even though we can't see it because it's transparent. You want to go to the opacity controls. And here on the left is the black color. 100% opacity on the right, it says zero. And here's the slider that you can now use for the opacity transition. Usually you want to set that to 50, which is in center. You can also switch to this end stop and then increase the opacity. Let me do that. And now it gets darker and darker and darker as both of these stops had a black color. So this is what you're looking for. Same works on images. So I use the basic first, black to white, left click drag. We have our new gradient fill layer. It's on top of the image. I select the second option. And now it goes from black to transparency. You can also give that all colors. Let me make that red. And the other stop I'll make black. I go to the opacity controls. I leave the left one at 100. And the second one I go down with this slider for the opacity. And now we have red to transparent. So the important part here is our Opacity control under the property menu. If you can't see that at all, just go to window and click on properties and then this menu should pop up. And this I can create a transparent gradient in Photoshop. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.